Today, many local farmers are dealing with excessive rain and spring flooding. And they are not only waiting to plant crops, they're also going to extreme lengths to keep their cattle safe and dry. Cattle Land's Matt Holson takes you to Lincoln County, where the Stratmeyers and their cows are knee-deep in mud. That they're belly deep if they go through. Jelaine Stratmeyer is utterly amazed by her cows. Well, I see them, they have some personality. She and her husband Dave have 78 head, and most of them have names. This is Twister. Her, her name's because her face is a little twisted. Because of her age, she's in a small, less muddy spot. The rest of the group is trudging through what's become of their pasture. It's very sad at times to see the cows struggling through the mud just to get somewhere to eat. Um, it's been deep for them. We've had to move, move bunks out further and further into grass, and it's ruining our grass, but we just have to do what we have to do. Dave says they have faith things will get better. Flooding from March and spring rains are to blame. And it takes a toll on them. Yeah, why, why is it so heartbreaking? Because I love my cows. <laughs> Do you want to see them? Remember Twister? She gave birth to twins the day after our visit. Unfortunately, Jelaine says cows' udders can get so muddy in their normal holding area, calves can't eat. They've even had to use a skid steer to lift collapsed cows to feeding troughs. I don't like to see them plowing through the mud and standing in the rain trying to have their calves and there's not a dry spot for the calves to lay down. Um, that's, that's Everybody who's in the barn has had a problem and we've had to put them in and try to keep them. Either the calves went nurse or it was the snowstorm or something or rotten weather. A stretch of dry warm weather is desperately needed. It will help the cattle and allow Dave to plant crops. That's where the feed comes from along with corn for silage and corn stalks for bedding. But we have a faith that we trust God's going to take care of it like Dave said that um, it'll work out. We'll get what we need to and we'll work around it. Um, our pasture doesn't look very nice anymore, and it's probably going to look worse before it'll ever get better. In the meantime, they'll enjoy the sun every chance they can get. Near Lennox, Matt Holson, Kelloland News. You can hear more from the Stratmeyers on tonight's Eye on Kelloland. Tonight's story will focus on the difficult decisions that farmers are facing when it comes to planting season.